Hello, everyone. I am so excited about Henry. Um, so if you've been following the Ultimate Decades Challenge, we have time traveled Sir Henry here for this special day. Um, he So he was born in the 1300s, but we have time traveled him for a modern playthrough. For our charity stream today, I have his back to us right now. I know you all probably saw the thumbnail, but still, I'm excited to show him in cast so you can get a better look at him. So we're gonna go into cast. We're going to randomize his traits. We're going to pull up the, or A, I, don't, I think there's more than one, uh, randomizer for his aspiration, his career, and all of that. So we're going to completely randomize pretty much everything, and we're going to see what we end up with. So it's going to be kind of exciting and interesting, I hope. If you celebrate uh, Merry Christmas, it is coming quite quickly. I'm not prepared. Here's Henry. Look at him. He looks a lot different. A lot different because um, in my Ultimate Decades Challenge, we use Alpha CC and I decided to try using him with some Maxis Match. I gave him a little bit of like an edge. So he's got a tattoo. He's got several outfits here. I actually don't remember what all I gave him, but yeah, it's just so weird seeing him dressed in modern clothes and stuff. Look at him looking all schnazzy. Where, oh, Baby, no. Missed that somehow. Look at him! What are all these boots coming from? No. I swear I did not do that. I promise you. <laughs> there he is. There's our boy. So this is just random stuff that I randomized the other day. So we're going to use this randomizer. I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, it gets crazy. So it does like whether or not they're going to get married. We do have to have a child. So if this says zero, we're going to have one because I don't know how far we'll get today, but we're going to put this on short lifespan as well. I forgot to mention that part. We're going to put it on short lifespan and see how far we can get. It's going to be very hard. There's probably no way we're going to max out the career. Honestly, that's very difficult to do even on normal lifespan. So if we get to like where he's about to turn into an elder and we haven't accomplished anything, then maybe I'll change my mind and we'll put it on normal. <laughs> but the plan was to do it on short lifespan. So we're going to roll. I am so stinking scared. <laughs> Single with useless help. Raise the kids by yourself, but you're getting an extra hand around. You should have a butler, gardener, nanny, etc. All roles should help out. Get your wallet ready. However, you cannot instruct them on or push them to do certain tasks. Okay. Interesting. And he's going to be a conservationist. The environmental manager career. You must help your children with everything. Learning how to bike, build tree houses, homework, etc. Toddlers cannot learn via those toddler pads. They must learn with their parents or other caretakers. Oh boy. Okay. Three children. No. Oh no. From the time the heir comes of age to the time the heir dies, three Sims must die an unnatural death on your home lot. Unnatural death is defined as any death except by old age, and the Sims may be members of your household, such as unneeded spouses, spares that are about to move out, or even the heir themselves or guests. Furthermore, the graves must stay on your home lot, and the ghosts be allowed to roam the house freely. <laughs> Should we re-roll this one, or are we, we want to try to, to accomplish this? I ask because it's always, like, so split on whether people are into, like, the supernatural and um, the occult kind of stuff in the game. I could go either way. Are we leaving it? Like, I'm okay with, like, offing Sims. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Are we good? Are we going to roll with it? Okay. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> Reroll and pick between the two. That is actually a good idea. Let's pop that back up. If it wasn't for like the ghost thing. All right. Let's go ahead and reroll this one and see what our second, our second one is. Um, no, I love this, but I don't want to do all that traveling because we are on a short lifespan situation so all right i guess we're on aliving three people in our house so yay um <laughs> so <laughs> are 
Are you okay? Are you okay, Henry? Doesn't do their aspiration. James Turner's four traits and aspiration. Okay. Successful lineage. That's going to be hard on a short lifespan, though. He's just meant to be materialistic, y'all. Ah, I don't know. I really don't know if I can accomplish that <laughs> on a short lifespan because I believe this one includes like your child's career has they have to like get to a certain level of their career and stuff. I'm going to do one more. I'm just keeping in mind that we are on a short lifespan and I don't want to make this. It's already going to be hard. Um, oh boy. Well, well, okay. All right. I don't love bro. All righty. So Sir Henry, uh, I've already forgotten. <laughs> Musical genius. He had a Rolling Stones t-shirt on for one of his outfits. So we need to do, there is no rock, is there? Alternative singer, songwriter, music. Y'all, my glasses are fogging up. I'm feeling more so guitar for him. Wait, which one was? I got this wrong. It's non-committal, not materialistic. See, I'm already messing up. The first one was materialistic. This one is non-committal. Okay, so we have his aspiration, his traits. We've randomized his career. He's going to be a convert. Conservation. I almost said conversationalist. <laughs> Conservationist. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, y'all. And you got to hang out with my crazy silly butt all day. <laughs> Further complicating this challenge for us is that I play with a lot of mods. Um, so we're going to see how this all goes, like with the relationships and the way that everyone is going to. He's going to have to have kids with somebody, but not really be with them because he's noncommittal. And he's not supposed to really get in a relationship. And then we randomize the rest of the stuff over on James Turner's randomizer and got musical genius and bro, music lover and noncommittal. So that is what we're currently working with. So I guess it kind of fits that I put him in San Sequoia and I put him in San Sequoia because I've never actually played in this world. The only thing is we're doing rags to riches. So literally he has absolutely nothing. We got to take his money away. We got to put him on short lifespan. I'm really second guessing that choice. I really am. But we're going to give it a go. <laughs> we're going to try. So let's give man zero dollars. Oops. Zero dollars. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's go see how much time we actually have to do things. This is going to be very hard. The chances that Henry is going to succeed at his career, his aspiration, having three kids on short lifespan. It's like, I don't think it's even, I really don't think it's even possible. To be completely honest with you, I doubt that it's possible. We have 13 days in young adult life. We could put him as a teen so he can fish. I don't know if he's a fisherman. But the boy's going to have to do what he's going to have to do, right? So we have to at least get a sleeping bag or a tent, which is like a tent's like 400 simoleons, I think. He just wants to listen to music. I have bad news for you, <laughs> Henry. I don't think you got headphones. Oh, you did. Okay. All right. I'll let you. What do you want to listen to? Probably alternative singer, songwriter or or alternative. We will allow it. He's like, I have absolutely nothing in the whole world, but I am vibing. <laughs> I am vibing. Here is the beautiful Willow Creek. I take no credit for this. Let's check out the community center and go see what's around here. Oh my gosh, look at this. He doesn't have to have anything in the world. Um, How did you afford that? How, you guys, how did he get a hot dog? <laughs> he has no money. He stole it. He stole a vending machine hot dog. So when he gets food poisoning later. Oh, I forgot. I did give him a sleeping bag. I did give him a sleeping bag. That's what we're starting with is a sleeping bag. 
collectibles, money, 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 money. Dig, dig. That's a plant. Yeah, I don't trust hot dog. Vin I don't trust any food like that in a vending machine, period. But this boy's like, I'm just going to steal it. It's fine. Was he even hungry? I don't think he was that hungry. But $70. Heck yeah. I'm going to pause while I'm looking because we have limited, limited time at our disposal, y'all. Very limited time. Why are you in your formal wear? That's a little weird, Henry. I mean, we got to give it to him. He's having a good time. He's really having a very good time for his circumstances. <laughs> like, he has literally nothing to go home to. We're probably going to have to get him a pea bush. But he's pretty dang happy. I... This is why you're in your formal wear. We came to this formal place. Let's go use the bathroom. We have a mod where we do have to brush our teeth like regularly and we have to go to the dentist and stuff. But needless to say, we don't have the money for that at the moment. So I play with the healthcare redux mod, um, the realistic childbirth mod. Everything is going to take longer. Like childbirth takes a long time. So I think... What we'll probably opt to do is like move the kids in with us like after they're born and just either have a steady like friends with benefits person that we get pregnant, you know, because he's not supposed to really get in a relationship. So let's meet some people. So we had um, you're a teen, though, so no teens are here. There's a child. But no teens. We will have to go to school with him, which I hate. I'm sorry, but I do not enjoy that. But we will. We'll go to school with him so he can meet some teens. Let's go home. It's 9 p.m. He's got to do his homeworks. We made him a teen, which I don't know why I didn't think of that before. That was, like, silly. I'm making him do his homework when apparently he's hungry. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you. At 920, there's probably no... Okay, there's a bathroom right here. We don't need a toilet. We're good. We are good on the toilet. So maybe we will get him a... Oh, good job. Good job breaking them. 40 simoleons. Woo! 225. 45. 485 simoleons. <laughs> Yay! We got a good start. So what should we give him first? Like, should... That's not enough to build anything. It's not enough to build, but... Um, perhaps... Maybe a mini fridge. If I could put it under cover somehow. Okay, we're going to bed hungry. Such is the rags to riches way. Going to bed hungry. We could just not waste all this time doing homework and he could just be a really bad student. I mean, his life is pretty dang rough, so it wouldn't be super surprising. He just wants to save the environment. So for him, we're supposed to listen to music for two hours, practice music for six hours. So we're going to have to get a guitar. Oh my gosh, I'm so close. I was so close. Oh no, what is this? Oh, slumbering in a sleeping, slumbering in a sleeping bag. Henry, Henry might not be able to see them, but he can just feel the skittery legs. Ugh. Well, it's going to be a while before you're sleeping anywhere else. <laughs> Sorry. A newer like this. But would this actually protect like a fridge from rain? Does anybody know? This is only 120 simoleons. It should, right? It should protect him from the rain. We can get a mini fridge or a regular fridge. I mean, this totally vibes like a homeless teen, a homeless teen environment. Oh, stop. You can too. Oh my gosh. I'm not getting any notifications about these donations and I'm making, I'm getting so sad. Nothing at all, but we'll, we'll get him sorted. He's going to go eat at school though. We're not going to have him eat. He has not a care in the world. He's got a little pouty face on, but 
He's like, I can ignore everything wrong with my life right now. <laughs> as long as I got my musics. Um, oh my goodness. That is not a good start. How did I know it was Wolfgang? Well, didn't make no friend there. <laughs> when I tell you, Henry, when I tell you you are on limited time, it's it's serious. Let's go. Why are you just standing there? What is going on? I wanted him to introduce himself to someone else, but he's just standing here. Okay, let's go try to find the principal because apparently... Now, please move. Don't just stand there. Thank you. Henry has learned the following traits about Wolfgang. Mean. Well, yeah, don't say <laughs> you're <n> you're <laughs> not serious. No way. <laughs> All right. Henry, Henry, Henry. Hold on. We don't care about your grades, really. Um, did Wolfgang pick on his hair? Body hair mockery? Oh, you're skipping class. You're in trouble. Henry's like, you don't understand. I'm homeless. I didn't eat. You're supposed to be my principal. You're supposed to support me. You aren't easy to trust. It makes you <sighs> suspicious. Um, <laughs> He's in trouble already. He's going to be a bad boy. Poor Henry skipped class, got in trouble, has no home to go home to. Hasn't met anybody because Wolfgang was just being mean to him when he got here. We don't really have time for this. Now it's lunchtime. We could have just made him wait, but he was very hungry. What are we embarrassed about now? You're fine. You really don't care that the principal caught you. I can promise you. Henry, I know that you want to, like, have fun, but let's find someone who's not mean to you. Who do we have here? So we've already basically made an enemy. So we have Cassandra Goth, Molly Prescott, the principal, the teacher, Jeb Harris... Wayne Tala, Taya, Darling Walsh. Okay, uh, let's go introduce ourselves to Cassandra because we all know and love her, right? Dude, you are taking forever. Now you're chatting your teacher up. He has to serve detention. Oh, boy. Okay, one more introduction. One more. That'll get us started with some friends. All right, I'm bored of this school day already. Uh, attend foreign language. This is probably the only day I'm going to follow him because honestly, so he does not like one of these people he just met. Who is it? Oh. So he doesn't like this teacher. He finds her annoying and pretentious. He thinks Dwayne's immature, but Dwayne thinks he's very interesting and funny. He finds Cassandra Goth attractive and they had very good first impressions. Suspicious about Henry because she thinks he's a bad, bad, bad child. And he is. Obviously, this is not a good relationship. They have good compatibility, though. But man, Henry showed up to school and Wolfgang just went at him, like, immediately. Henry tries to pass the note, but is caught by the teacher. Of course! Of course! This is Henry we're talking about. Oh, no, it's Kyle Kyleson. Um, Kyle, I don't have a place. I have a yard with a sleeping bag, a little tent thing, and a mini fridge. But sure. You know, Henry is a teen alone. Kyle's coming, wants to come by and make sure he's he's okay. But he's, he's, he's going to discover. <laughs> Things are not great. Things are not great at all. All right. All right. All right, it is time to order food, apparently. I mean, he should really qualify for free lunch if we're being real, but <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> Go home. You don't automatically leave school. That's silly. Oh, gosh, prom is coming. All I have is an enemy right now, let alone a. I do not have a prom interest at all. <laughs> and don't forget, y'all, we're on short lifespan. So I need to get him a guitar. It needs to happen. Kyle's here. Kyle's like, dude, this is where you're living. This is it. Yeah, you got any money? <laughs> and they look like they could be related. This is like a long lost relative who's like, I heard you were living out here on the streets. You good? 
Well, as you can see, not really. <laughs> All right, chat for a minute, and then you have to go do some fishing. We gotta get you a guitar, and then your your fun will go up too. So if we can get him a guitar. That's going to help his fun. It's going to help our aspiration. Has absolutely zero to do with his career. All right. I think I'm going to... I think we're going to switch him to an eco lifestyle career. I don't want to have to travel to Solani and stuff. So it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. We're living in San Sequoia. But that would still be like saving the environment. Do you know what I mean? Or should we roll again for that? I forgot that that is one where you actually have to like do things in Solani. I don't know. I think we might have to. I didn't even notice that. It's just not going to make a lot of sense for him. Well, wait. Add him to your group and you guys can fish together. And then you'll have a lot of fun together. At least this is right here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let me have him go pee first. <laughs> Where was that bathroom at? Go to the bathroom first because you're going to have to find somewhere to shower too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give it up. Give it up, Henry. <laughs> give it up. Although... Oh, he's sleeping. No, we're supposed to be fishing. We need money. You're not even that tired. He just went and passed out on the dang. He's probably not going to catch anything. I know you smell. I could probably give you a shower, get you a shower if you catch some things that are worth some money. Yeah, this isn't going well. Awesome singer. Incredible. He dislikes fishing. One of my universal Sims rules, no matter what playthrough we're doing, is that I try to accept these unless they make absolutely zero sense. So this is going to be out for him. And he's cold. Oh, Henry, Henry, Henry. Okay, go to sleep. I know. I don't know where you're shot. Oh, he caught a voodoo doll. Saved. I didn't even notice. He caught it. We are saved. We can get a shower. We can get a shower. Okay. Let me see what ones I have in this mods folder. Not many. Okay. We have this little guy. This would make the most sense probably since we're living under this little tiny, little tiny thing. Basically under a tarp. Oh, guess what? You can have a shower before you go to sleep. I was going to install the bills mod, um, in which case we wouldn't have any stinking water but i figured that would just be way too hard you know he's not supposed to have like a partner right so we could have a teenage pregnancy i do have that enabled so he could have his first kid while he's a teen but then we just have to get custody of that kid because we're supposed to do everything with that kid per the whole thing that we randomized all right go to sleep at 1 a.m life's perfect life's perfect you're hungry and it's 1 a.m <laughs> Uh, but we just need to focus on skills during this teenhood. Get a jump start on those. I just have to figure out what I'm doing with these. We're going to send him alone today. Um, he's, uh, he's a whole vibe right now. I hope you can eat really quickly, Henry. I'm so sorry. Students are allowed to choose their own assignment for an upcoming school project. Should Henry choose an easy assignment and ensure a good grade or find a new or find a more challenging assignment and learn something new? He's already gotten in a lot of trouble at school. So I'm feeling like an easy assignment. It's going to go wrong. I knew it. <laughs> the good grade does bring up Henry's average, but the assignment is so mind numbing that he wishes he'd taking something a little more stimulating. Okay, but... You're on thin ice at school, so. What, Michaela says, what if he has a kid as a teen and whoever it is with, whoever it is with does not want it and gives the kid up to Henry? That's a good idea. We need to meet someone. So we know Cassandra Goff, and that's the only female besides our teacher and our principal that we know. I, I'm not opposed to a child with Cassandra Goff. That could be fun. So he has the maker trait and he's very mad that he hasn't made anything. He got a poor score on his exam and he's desperate for fun. So he's going to invest in his very own guitar, which is pretty dang exciting, really. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like the light would for Henry. Take care of your guitar and don't let it be in the rain. He's too tense to play the stinking guitar. All right. Drog to clear your mind or something, too. You can do that and listen to headphones at the same time, right? That's what I thought. There we go. Look at those green arrows. Look at them go. 
Cassandra, what a scandal. Oh, yeah, he could probably ask her to prom. That's tomorrow. I have only gotten prom to work for me one time. So <laughs> I can't promise that it would actually work. We could give it a go, but I can make no promises on whether or not, like, a lot of times it doesn't even load into the prom building. Or if you try to travel there, there's just nothing there. Ooh, now he's happy. He likes working out. And he's listening to the greatest music to do it. All right, why don't you go home before you get all mad? Now you're probably stanky. Are you stanky now? Yes, a stanky boy now. No, no, get out of my shower. Kyle? <laughs> Just two bros hanging out. <laughs> Two very stinky bros hanging out. <laughs> He's just patiently waiting for the shot. Whoa, Kyle. Okay, so I was able to look by going to the actual Make-A-Wish thing. So, all right. He's kind of happy again. He, he liked the working out. And he actually liked the applesauce. So let's see if we get along with Cassandra. So she, um, he does find her attractive. Come check out my, my little camp here. I'll serenade you with some music. Look at him standing in the tent. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be anything serious either, but we can see what happens. If you follow me and watch any of my other stuff, I typically really let the game drive the story. So like if he didn't find her attractive, then I probably wouldn't do this. Like, I want to pursue her at all in that way. I should say the mods. The base game Sims doesn't have a whole lot that's going to drive the storyline, but mods really help with, with that. And speaking of, we need to get him enough money to go to the doctor, too. Henry, you don't have a crush as far as I know. I don't think we are at a point where we can flirt yet. Their, their friendship is not going up very much. You know how some sims just really get along? That doesn't really seem to be happening here. Adoring? Oh, he has a crush on her now! That was fast and easy. Oh, why is she so sad? Discuss your favorite band with her. She's probably wanting to go home so she can do well at school tomorrow. And Henry's like, forget school, I don't care. Confess daydream about crush. You are my crush, Cassandra. I think Kyle is harshing my game a little bit here. <laughs> Too much fun. So tomorrow's prom, maybe we should just ask her to go as friends. Because we don't have any... Let's see. Ask to prom, ask to prom as friends. We don't have time to do a promposal. Let's see what she says. It, it's a romantic interaction so she's gonna say no i almost guarantee it i have a second thoughts i'm having seconds let's throw a flirt let's throw a flirt first no don't leave don't leave the prom's tomorrow cassandra <laughs> come back henry henry go get your girl goodness gracious and now he's ignoring me oh my gosh let's throw a just well, he's feeling confident. Let's try a bold pickup hey, line. Leave Kyle alone. Funny. Turn your attention. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she took it. <laughs> She's feeling it. <laughs> Tell her she looks nice. You look really nice today. I know we just met, but maybe... Perhaps you would like to go to prom with me so you can get mad at me when prom doesn't work and I s She's delighted to attend prom with us Yay, okay now you can go home cuz I'm tired I'm tired I should get Kyle a sleeping bag because he's gonna make it so that we can't fast forward time tonight Oh, no, it does Get in some good sleep we could start thinking about a toilet, but you know what? There's one right here, so I'm not inclined. I'm not inclined to prioritize that right now. 
Camping out. Now he enjoyed camping. He didn't enjoy camping before. All right, let's put this in our inventory and go try to make some tips. Do we have a park or anything around here? Or are we going to have to travel? A library. Don't want to play our... <laughs> We don't want to play our guitar at a library. Let's go check the Willow Creek Park out. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. Let's go here and see what we can accomplish. It's raining here. Oh, my. You got to do what you got to do in life. So get on over here. See if we can attract anybody in the rain. Oh, he can't play for tips yet, can he? Don't you have to be like level three? Well, he's going to stand here and play in the rain for a while. <laughs> Hi, Color of Magic. I totally missed you coming in. I'm so sorry. How are you doing today? I haven't seen you in a minute. I'm so glad you were able to join us. We are here with Henry. He's playing in the rain. There are people actually listening, though. But I don't know when we can start playing for tips. I'm not sure. Wow, now it's really raining. Look at this dedication. Ooh, we got tips. Yay. We got $8. <laughs> A whole $8. Kyle, back off. Cassandra's mine. Get out of here. Man, he's having a very good time. He's not loving the thunderstorm. Oh! Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> they all just totally freaked out. All right, go home before you die. Go home before you die. Go. Home. No. Stop. Go home. Oh my gosh. That was awful. That was not good. <laughs> At least he didn't die. I mean, there's that. Oh, look. He's all better. Did you have a shower while you were traveling? How did that happen? He's dazed. He's taking a shower. Oh, he's shaving his... He's shaving his arm hair. I support whatever. You do you, boy. You do you. So we're supposed to be going to prom today. Get together before prom at someone's house. But I am curious what Cassandra is going to be wearing. So we are at somebody's house. I don't really know who. My date's not here. Why are we all hanging out out here? It's a very minimal house. Hey, my date's here now. Go embrace her. She must like him. They could do their first kiss. I need to fight one of these people, but I don't want a black eye. Can I have your number? Even though I just called you over here. <laughs> Attempt to seduce. Are we going to get you in trouble this quickly? I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, what did he just... Okay, he finds her basic looking, but he has a crush on her. And he still has a crush on Cassandra. He's gonna be one of them. He's gonna be one of them. <laughs> now he's got two crushes. Okay, behave. You are supposed to be going to prom with Cassandra. You know we gotta CC her up a little bit if we're in here, right? Oh. Oh. That's the one. That's so cute. Oh. Oh, look how cute she is. Except we have to take your rings off. Aw, the eyebrows are just not dark enough, but it's fine. Who's going to be looking at her that close anyway? Just Henry. <laughs> just Henry. Look how cute she is. Now she's like adorable. Like cute, cute. Still short, still with bangs. Look how cute she is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, it is very goth. That looks perfect for her. 
she doesn't have glasses on in her everyday outfit or I took them off on accident. Oh, well, no glasses now. All right, y'all, five or 10 minutes. Thank you so much. I will put on a little bit of music for you as well. Who should we fight with real quick? We need to fight somebody. Where's Wolfgang when you need him? I don't want to fight with our date, even though it's it's the brawl day, so they, they don't really care. But Because maybe some other shenanigans will happen at prom. And boy, don't have any woohoo protection items. Hey, where are you going? She like left. Oh, we'll see her at prom. Please let this work. Please let this take us to prom and let there actually be a prom happening. The chance <laughs> we have prom. Hey, girl. Did you really? Are you guys talking to each other from that far away? Dude, go over to your date. What are you doing? This prom is really popping off, y'all. It's really getting crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where do we vote for prom royalty? I've only done this like one time because it's only worked for me like one time. There's drinks over here and food. <gasps> Sweetheart dance together. Oh my gosh. Oh, right here. Vote for prom royalty. Should we vote for our date? Yes. I don't know anyone else, so <laughs> I don't know. Mostly bad things, but that's okay. People usually don't like me either. We should hang out sometime. It was Katrina. You danced with her for two seconds, Henry. So we still have to figure out what we're going to do about Henry's career. Because we randomized it. She's... Our date is dancing with someone else. Don't you be dancing with her too. Oh, jeez. She's a popular girl. Henry? 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 We have to introduce ourselves to him to fight him. Why is he ignoring everything I'm telling him to do? Oh, we gotta use the photo booth. I'm not gonna fight a woman for dancing with my date, but I will fight a man for dancing with my date. <laughs> All right, come on. Are we doing this or not, you guys? Are we doing this ceremony or are we just standing here? <laughs> yeah, Henry did. Henry traveled, time traveled. Well, actually, I put him in cast and I did like the twin genetics thing just so he was like a clean slate um, and then I switched him to Max's match CC and that's him <laughs> they hugged after so who won all right she got it she got it good job Cassandra now come in here and take a photo with me take a romantic photo with me if she comes back to our place tonight um, all we have for options is a shower. You know, if they want to have a little fun. That's going to be the only option. <laughs> I think the ceremony's over. Henry. So much time is wasted in The Sims. I can't even get Henry to go to the photo booth. Someone said they only went to one prom and they spent the whole time taking photos in the photo booth. Well, my Sim won't even. Go take your own, maybe? I think Cassandra's stuck here. Maybe that's the problem. We're vibing at prom. Are you? Okay. We didn't get it with her. Are you kidding me? After party. Yes, with friends. Oh boy. We're going to the after party. So we discussed earlier, Henry's currently a teen. Um... But we have to have three kids. We randomize everything for him. So we randomized his traits, um, his career, how many kids he was going to have, and everything. Look how many of them are thinking about woohoo. If that ain't prom night, I don't know what is. Oh, wait. Where are we at? Okay. 
go, go, go ride a romantic ride with your date. But he has to have three kids, but he's, we randomized like his relationship too. So what type of relationship is he going to end up having? And it's basically, he's never going to have like a true partner, but he's going to have like help with his kids, like a nanny. What did it say? Like a nanny, a butler or something like that, but not, oh guys, she's going to, he's going to pee his pants. But not like a partner. So we were discussing maybe a teenage pregnancy. And Cassandra was the first girl he met. So that's kind of where we're thinking maybe we'll start with a teen pregnancy. I do not condone it in real life. Okay. Practice your safe woohoo, everybody. Always practice safe woohoo. Can't we woohoo in one of these things? Ooh. Henry has decided he wants to talk to Cassandra about the relationship and what better way to communicate a serious relationship than through a cheesy plum bite pure attraction. Is that twinkle in Cassandra's eye a hint of attraction or irritation? She's really into him, it seems like so. Does he try out the smolder and attempt to win Cassandra over or does he try and deescalate the romance? Keep flirting. Henry scoots a little closer and gives Cassandra a flirty wink. Cassandra starts laughing and gives Henry's shoulder a playful smack. What a great joke. Henry's flirting has gone completely over Cassandra's head and the two finish the ride out with friendly conversation. It may not be the outcome that Henry was expecting, but at least the two have grown closer in some way. This is how things go for Henry. This is how they go. Uh oh, something's not right. He needs to go to the doctor. Try the first kiss. Just go for it. I know you're going to pee your pants, but at least we'll get a first kiss on prom night. But something's wrong with you. So we have the healthcare mod. So, dude, just kiss her already. This is the third time I've tried to get you to kiss her. What? Is she trying to leave? Please don't pee your pants. Now he can't kiss her? Oh, you're fine. You're not even close to peeing your pants. So... The first kiss option went away. Maybe because of that? Tell her you love her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cassandra is the rich... Um, no. I mean, maybe she's going to end up being a little bit standoffish towards him because, I mean, look how he's living in comparison to what she's used to, right? Don't talk about marriage. I want to know where the first kiss went. I'm so confused. Like, half our options are gone. Well, this ain't going the way that we were wanting it to. I guess we're going home alone on prom night. I don't know. He, he refuses to kiss her. I've tried it multiple times. So we're, I think it's 150 smoleons to go to the doctor. He's going to have to wake up and go to the doctor. It just says, a little off. Henry isn't sure what's wrong, but feels quite certain something's just not right. He's probably going to have a health condition of some kind. Which is going to be wonderful to manage when you have no money and you're living here. <laughs> I mean, he has a great view of the water. There's that. But as a teen, you know, there's not very many options for, like, ways to make money. He could get an after-school job, but that didn't do anything. It doesn't say, like, what it costs. Oh, okay. It just didn't come up right. He needs to go to the allergist. If you're feeling unwell and it's due to an undiagnosed allergy, visit the doctor. This is going to bankrupt us. That is so American, honestly. <laughs> Being bankrupt by the doctor. Totally an American thing. Henry has been diagnosed with an animal dander allergy. That's like a death sentence for me. Sims with animal dander allergy can be wary around pets and usually have adverse reactions to being around pets. He was around that cat before prom. Allergy medications can help alleviate symptoms. Thank you for letting me know. Hey, it didn't cost us anything. Or was it like 50 bucks? I don't remember how much money we had. Let's get boy a garbage can. Let's see. Vitamins, which he should start buying. Is there an allergy med in here? 
allergy medication. 52 simoleons. Take some. Comfort in knowing. While Henry will have to make some adjustments, he feels empowered now that he finally has an answer to what was wrong. No pets for you. Likes singing. Likes singing and guitar. But too bad we had to randomize his... Oh, she wants to go to the flea market. I'm in. 200 smolians for that. Um, say less. Can I have this? Please? Can you leave? Please? Where's my date? She asked us here. Where is she? <laughs> Cassandra! Where are you? Oh, you're just arriving, huh? Excellent. Where are you going? Cassandra! <laughs> what are you doing? Do we have the option to kiss her now? Please, just kiss in the rain already! Henry, did you pay for that? I'm gonna bust you. He paid for it and I don't even think he ate the whole thing. Please, kiss her in the rain! Kiss her in the rain! Yes! Fourth time is a charm! <laughs> And it's not even that she didn't want to kiss us. We're doing We're going for a mess around. We're going right in. It's not that she didn't even want to kiss us. It's that the game just wouldn't... It wouldn't work. Like, she just wouldn't... Which is annoying, right? Where are you guys going to do it? Where are they going? Oh, what are you guys doing? Is it a garbage can? Oh, no! <laughs> Aww. Where did you get a condom, Henry? You don't have any. What? No. No, no, he did not. He does not have them. That's very prolonged for a first time woohoo, I gotta say. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of partial to this so far. Uh, she's just she's just out. She's like, bye. <laughs> Thank you. I'm leaving. He's honestly living his best life, y'all.